Um, I wanted to show a simple hack, home hack, uh, for creating uh, a cheap water leak detector out of a smoke fire alarm. And I got one of these at, uh, at Home Depot. I got a packet of two uh, for $10. It's about, it was on sale. So this is a, one of the cheaper home alarm, uh, smoke alarms. And uh, there's usually a, bu a button here, a test button. And if you open this up, let's just open this up. Let's see, this uh, covers here. And so, uh, I think they unscrew. Oh, okay, okay. Let's just uh, take this out. Okay, and this kind of clips off. And then uh, I think there's another one underneath here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then that comes off. Okay, you take this off, and then to to reveal the board here, and you'll see that the the button, the test button, this is the test button here that just kind of depresses, and it actually it actually makes contact, so it completes the the circuit here um, from here, and that's what sets off the alarm, right? So what you do is you take off this. Uh, you, you uh, take off this board here. Okay, you just kind of take a screwdriver, okay, and then that comes off, all right. And then on the other side, you'll see where 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 the the contact is, right. So as you can see, it's these two, and then this one. So by um, by completing the circuit over these two, we'll, we'll, do, um, we'll run this, this, uh, the test, the test phase. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to take um, a, a wires like these, okay? Um, and you can get, I don't know, um, speaker wires or whatever, whatever two wires, you know, you kind of take, um, you can use a knife or, or one of these gadgets. Um, and you kind of strip the wire cutters, yeah. <laughs> and um, you kind of just strip that off. Okay, and you reveal the, expose the, the wires there. Okay, uh, these two ends and I'm going to solder it. I use, it's good to kind of take some flux and put some, a little bit of flux so it's easier to kind of connect these these uh, these these wires together so I put a little bit of flux in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna attach that to okay and that's that's connected that way and then I'm gonna connect it to the other side all right all right oh there we go there we go that should be do it that should do it Okay, so now, so the, these um, these wires, just kind of put it all back together. Um, actually, let's test it out before we uh, we put it all back together. Okay, so you take the other end, kind of open that up too with these uh, wire cutters. Be really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I have one in my sump pump pit, so it lets me know when there's a, when this, my sump pump is not working and I can have a big flood in the basement, but I can also put one underneath uh, one of the, sink, the, the upstairs sink, so if there's a water burst and uh, that you, that, that's from the second floor, we don't get a big flood, or you can put it in your laundry, behind your laundry or your fridge is another culprit for or your dishwasher so what happens is when these um, water is a conductor right so when uh, so I'll put this um, I'll tape that on the floor on either end here and what you'll see is you'll see if you put two wires uh, let's put the battery in for first battery in there. okay There we go. Okay, so the battery's in. So let's test this out. So what you'll do is you'll, I like to put that 
on the floor, maybe tape it up. Um, and then what you'll see is when the water, when it's the water starts to, so you get a bit of flood. Said that it's working. We're gonna put it back together. Okay. Put this away. Okay. So, um, so the, these two wires, um, you can kind of drill a hole. Let's see, hole right here, and then feed it through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drill. And then I'm just gonna put a put a hole through there. Okay. Just put a hole there. And then what I do is I'm gonna feed feed these wires through. Okay. And then you just kind of put this together. Back together on its where it's supposed to connect. Okay. All right. So now you got this, and you can stick this on the wall of the underneath your cabinet or on the floor, wherever. And then you take these wires, you know, run it, and you kind of just uh, put it on the floor uh, close to each other. And then uh, where usually where the water will likely leak and just put maybe duct tape um, on there so that when water comes and flows through and floods the, f the surface, it will sound the alarm. All right.